Hey, 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 welcome everyone to the Drippy Verse. And well, 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 what do we have here on the market? So it's gonna be a quick video, short video. Let's go over some, some macro and uh, let's first look at what futures are doing right now. So this is ES, uh, you know, basically uh, S&P 500 futures. We gap down today. And we are currently down um, roughly around, I would say, uh, let's see how much down we are. Roughly around 0.4%, which is 16.25. Not that bad, but uh, we are back to this demand zone here. Now let's see where do we find support. Do we find it, you know, do we break below this 4200 for a while and then go test the 4193 and then reverse from there? or do we break down further below? This will be the area I would look into by the dip, roughly around 4180 to 42. That would be way oversold in a short amount of time. And uh, a lot of buyers would, would, dip buyers would step in around that level. So 4180 is where I'm looking at dip buying. And then for the short side, I'm looking at this gap here. If it cannot fill this gap, could be good area to short or around this gap on ES. ES gap down, which is kind of, not that common usually es does not gap down but spx does but um let's see if futures are currently trying to make a move up can we fill this gap tomorrow that's a question uh unanswered but we'll see tomorrow so futures are not looking that good right now but it could just be considered as a pullback i would say because we have made a massive massive move to the upside and this is just a teeny tiny part of it uh, so we could retest this level here the breakout level or we could go and retest this low which is roughly around i would say uh let's see what are we looking at we are 4125 that could be a level of interest as well um but all eyes are on futures right now uh, we are in middle of this we have this ema band as support on four hours and then on two hours, we did break below this. Uh, sorry, on the daily, we have the EMA band as support, uh, but on the four hour, we are below this. So can we retest this and fail, or does it come back up and double, te double top test and then goes down? Um, there are many possibilities right now in the market. The squeeze on the downside looks like there's more room to go to the downside and RSI is still kind of not oversold. So I think we can probably test 4180 maybe tomorrow or next week, we'll see. Um, now let's talk about a couple other things. Dixie, the Tricky Dixie, we have talked about this in the last couple of videos and Tricky Dixie broke out. Dixie broke out, which is not good, not good for commodities, not good for market in general and looks like it's, it wants to make a new high. Uh, and we'll see what it does around this level, but Dixie does not look like it want to stop. So kind of bad for the market. Let's look at Wix here. Wix uh, being consolidating around this level for a while, unable to break below 19.25. Uh, but what I am interested in seeing that can Wix make a violent move up next week? Or do we have a slow, uh, slow grind up on Wix? Uh, usually after OPEX we have uh, you know new positions being open and uh, on SPX contracts for next OPEX so we probably might see VIX uh, rise up but will it continue up is the question and then we have uh, uh, you know a uh, lot of events as well this week so let's look at earnings calendar sorry not earnings events calendar for the market and uh, real quick this is market watch so um, let's look here we have uh, you know fed national activity index not that big of a deal but then we have new home sales at 10 a.m on tuesday and then we have uh, <coughs> jobless games coming on thursday we have pending home sales index i believe jerome pal is also speaking on friday 10 a.m so that could be another uh, you know we have core pce uh, PCE data coming out on 830 could could be a mover in the market you know could be a big one uh, to the sh short or long side so we'll watch it so now let's go to the sum of the setups I'm watching and uh, let's look at for the long side now if the market reverses we see some momentum to the upside 
first one I'm gonna watch is Oxy. We were in this trade. I mean, we were swinging this from the other day, and man, oh man, this thing just ripped, and some of the members made thousand, two thousand percent more on this trade, more than two thousand uh, percent on this trade alone, and that was insane to watch it. And uh, it had a news that Berkshire Hathaway wants to buy fifty percent of stake in the company. So this has room to go more. I mean, just look at this weekly squeeze. Uh, looks like all time high here. Sorry, not all time high, but at least fifty two weeks high is in play. All time high is still way off, like around hundred. But looks like we might be we once we break above, you know, these highs. We are talking about next resistance as 78 and then uh, 88. Let's look at flow for Oxy real quick. Oxy looks good with a lot of bullish activity on the flow side here. Even if we sort it just by out of money here on Oxy, you can see there is a lot of activity. Um, we have uh, so much bullish activity, 72.5 calls. And they're buying time, but they are swinging it uh, to avoid the, uh, you know, the market chop. So that seems like a, a better way to trade this is uh, to buy a lot of time on Oxy or just trade it intraday. So let's look at other one I'm watching is PG. Uh, Procter & Gamble, again, short traded, out of money calls here, roughly around later in the day. So a lot of call activity here going on on this name. Um, let's look at the chart here of PG. And uh, we had a daily squeeze fired on it. Uh, it's been didn't really sell off much. Uh, it's in kind of this consolidation zone. So if if we do break out above 151, I'll be looking at you know um, next level as 155. But if we break below this level, let's say tomorrow market opens, it's down. It cannot hold the support 148. Then things can get nasty to the downside as well. Uh, but so far, flow is bullish. The chart looks really bullish above the EMAs. So kind of like a long setup here, and for the short side, let's watch. Uh, let's uh, let's watch at um, this name I'm watching is Lucid. Now Lucid, look at this massive, massive. I've been talking about this name for a while. It was consolidating. It finally broke down here, kind of like a more than average volume. I would say last couple of days. So lot of room to go to the downside here on lucid all the way till 13 dollars could be a multi-day swing play and not a lot of volume not a lot of volume around this levels here on uh, on lucid so let me look at this there's very thin pa here so things can get you know if it if it cannot hold these levels here things can get nasty real quick on this one so lucid is on my watch for multi-day swing play and then finally, uh, I'm watching uh, this one here, which is Neo. So Neo, interesting. Uh, so Neo, we had this. It's in a big squeeze here, and also Chinese economy is not doing good. We have Neo earnings coming soon, uh, so we'll see what happens. But I mean, Neo does not look good here. It kind of broke through this uh, double support area here. Uh, so bear flag breakdown, and then another small bear flag breakdown. So um you know kind of kind of very bearish in my opinion uh the flow for neo is a little bit bullish so let's just see what happens but in my opinion neo chart does not look bullish to me and if you go in the money you can see there's a lot of bearish activity on it actually so these are buying deep in the money puts here <coughs> excuse me so these four are the setups i'm watching next week my top watches and then uh we'll see how it goes these might update I might add some things later but uh, so far so oxy i'm looking at you now if we break above 73.3 doubt it will happen uh, this week maybe we'll have a couple inside candles it had moved it has moved a lot so let's just watch it there are a couple other names to keep on watch is like ual like united airlines did break below this level flow is bearish kind of like a bearish setup a lot of bearish setups right now uh, so this is also on my watch, uh, but I like lucid lucid more and Neo and then we have PG and then we have oxy so these four are my watch list and uh, Hope you guys have a great week next week, and I'll catch up with you guys later